Today's video is sponsored by Taylor Canvases. Receive 15% off your entire order with promo code LITTLEJOHN15. Are you a self-proclaimed yarn snob and enjoy the most luxury yarns available? Do you want to show all your yarn buddies that you can make it rain in your craft room? Then you're going to love to hear about Vacuna Wool. I'm Alicia Littlejohn of Littlejohn Yarn, so don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. And today, we're going to uncover the mystery of the most expensive yarn in the world. Vacuna wool has long been considered among the world's most luxury yarns, prized for its softness and scarcity. It's known as the gold of the Andes, and I can relate because I consider most of my yarn a treasure. So Vacuna is sought after by many top fashion houses, knitters, and crocheters alike for its unique texture and worth. And we're going to discover why this rare and expensive wool is so highly praised. Vacuna wool is rare to find. It's very expensive. It's soft, light, and warm, which makes it perfect for clothing. The price of this luxury yarn is around $400 to $600 per kilo of unprocessed fiber. High-end garments made from this wool can cost more than your mortgage payment. A pair of socks alone can cost up to $1,000. That's a lot of money for stinky feet. Today's video is sponsored by Taylor Canvases. Enhance your home decor through Taylor Canvases with memories that will last a lifetime. These high quality personalized decor pieces turn your house into a home. Personalize your canvas with your own style. They have an amazing service and they go above and beyond to make the customer's wishes come true. It's perfect for your living room, kitchen, man cave, or she said, whatever you're looking for to decorate, they have something for you. Shipping is super fast. After I place my order, I receive my canvas in about a week. So do you guys want to see what I got? This box is huge. So let's open it up. All right, got the box open. So let's take a look at it. Oh, look at this. Let me take it out of the wrapping. This is so awesome. This is beautiful. Little John Yarns established 2016. Of course, I got it in flowers because if anybody knows me, I love my flower plant decor. So let's put this on a wall and see how it looks. Here it is and doesn't it look fabulous? If you would like one in your own home, make sure you use coupon code littlejohn 15 and get 15% off your next order. All the information will be down in the description box below. So what is Vacuna? This is a very fine and cinnamon colored fiber derived from the species of the same name. Vacunas are species of South American camelids that are native to the Andean region of South America. They're closely related to llamas, alpacas, and guanacos. They're also known for their fine soft wool, which is considered to be the most expensive and rare in the world. These animals are found in a variety of habitats, including high altitude grasslands, shrublands, and forests, and they are adapted to harsh and dry conditions of the Andes. They're known for their small size, agile movements, and ability to survive in extreme environments. Produced in a mountainous Andean region that experienced freezing temperatures, Vacuna's fur is perfect for the climate due to its ability to regulate their body heat. This rare, luxurious wool is highly prized for its lightweight texture and warmth. It's even warmer yet lighter than merino wool and is often used in high-end luxury garments due to its natural strength, sheen, and rarity. So let's talk about the history and origins of Vacuna wool. The origins of Vacuna can be traced back to pre-Columbian times when they were revered by indigenous people as a symbol of wealth and status. They're also an important source of food and clothing. It's been an important resource for clothing, blankets, and other textiles for thousands of years. These indigenous communities developed a deep understanding of the unique properties of Vacuna wool and have developed traditional techniques for harvesting and processing it. They often rely on vacuna for their livelihoods and have a strong cultural connection to these animals. In pre-Columbian era, vacuna wool was prized by the Incan people as it was a symbol of wealth and stature. They made sure that the opportunity was given only to them and their royalty. It's a great way of saying, I'm richer and better than you. During this time, millions of vacuna roamed free high in the Andean regions. In traditional societies, vacuna wool was considered a valuable commodity and was often used as a form of currency. It was also used in religious ceremonies and other important cultural events. 
Today, many indigenous communities continue to rely on vacunas for their livelihood and are working on to preserve their traditional techniques and cultural practices related to its use. So how sustainable is the vacuna wool industry? In recent years, the industry has undergone significant changes as it's become more industrialized and commercialized. However, efforts are being made to preserve the traditional techniques and its cultural significance, as well as to ensure the sustainability management and conservation of the vacuna population. Remember, this rare wool has a natural shine and a rich sheen, which makes it coveted by so many companies. It's also hyperallergenic, wrinkle resistant, breathable, allowing your skin to remain cool in the warmer climates and warm in the cold climates. This makes it a perfect choice for winter coats and luxury clothing. Because of this, in recent decades, the demand for vacuna wool has increased dramatically. Hunters targeted this animal almost to extinction. From the early 1500s to 1964, hunting the vacunas was unrestricted, which reduced the numbers to only 6,000 in 1960. As a result, the species was listed as endangered in 1974. Genius, take the animal's life instead of just its wool. Due to this, it's now illegal to trade vacuna wool. In Peru, during 1964 to 1966, many national and world agencies joined together to establish a natural conservatory for the vacuna called, I hope I said it right, Pampa Gal Eres? <laughs> because of these smart actions, vacuna cannot be domesticated. Now there's still some vacunas left today. So we can work towards restoring this once valued resource. How is vacuna wool harvested? Herding communities in the Opalo Bamba mountain range can only share them once every two years. An entire community begins preparing to capture the herd months in advance. In addition to monitoring their herds and tracking its movements, they must build a herding device so a fleet of motorcyclists can move the vacuna into an enclosure. This is the most difficult part of the job since the packs are scattered. Once the vacunas are properly grappled, they can be sheared. Their fur must be at least two and a half centimeters long for collection. Once they're sheared, they undergo a health check and then release back into the wild. What's the price tag for this luxury yarn? Well, vacuna yarn can cost between $300 to $500 per kilo. This price is justified because the vacuna can only produce 200 grams of fiber every three years, making its scarcity obvious. Because of its fine short hairs, the yarn is also difficult to spin. Consequently, most products made from it are much sought after it for its quality. Since it's the most expensive yarn in the world, it can be seen as an investment piece for many avid crafters. Just not me because I don't got income like that. Looking to the future, it's clear that the demand for this wool will continue to grow as consumers become more aware of its unique qualities and the efforts being made to ensure its sustainability. The future looks bright for this luxurious and highly prized fiber. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out all my other informative videos like the history of crochet. All right, guys, I'll see you all on the very next video. Bye, guys.